Hey guys, how are you guys doing? Welcome to this video right here. We're back in this video. It's been one year since Queen Elizabeth II has sadly passed away. Just want to remember the thought that the Queen won the best monarch in the UK, you know, is British history, because this is what it feels to be what it is. Let's take you one year on to the back of the day that the news just shot the news that just really happened to the Queen that Queen Elizabeth is sadly up that Queen just um, feel not well. Um, this is not the point. Well, I just well, I just watching the um, program, the show, and it's also something on BBC just an ITV shows just interrupt a program or like a of of his um, ill health of Queen Elizabeth the second Queen Elizabeth or Her Majesty Lizzie or Her Majesty what as you call it this is one year on this is one year ago um, King Charles attends services for the anniversary of Elizabeth the second's death and this is this is this is the um this is the first of, this is one year ago this is one year um here we are one year anniversary guys to be honest with you one year that absolutely happened when the queen queen elizabeth has sadly died and this is what it feels like happened in the monarch history there always always been happening in the monarchy just the word fantastic stuff for the calling amazing stuff so just want to bring to a video to one to this video for a one year anniversary this is one year that's one one year this is one year ago um and i was on google and just want to do this video to remember one year mark marks one year death of Queen Elizabeth II and this is what it feels all about. It's been all around the world such as CNN for example, ABC or ABC Australia as well, um, CBS News, uh, GMA was ABC, Good Morning America, uh, Good Morning Australia, Good Morning Britain, um, Ireland AM and all kinds of stuff, you know, this is what it is. And this is like one year on today. One year on since the Queen Charlie died. And this is what it feels like what is the Queen. And now and then Charles became king. And Charles became king, that is what it is. Um, so this is Sky News right here. I wanna bring it to you guys. The Royal Family pays tribute to Queen Elizabeth II's devoted services on anniversary effort and first anniversary of her death. So this is good as what they call it. The King's also released a special photograph to mark the occasion while other members of the Royal Family, including Prince William and Harry, paid her own tribute to the late Queen, which is which is so, so it's quite nice and quite fantastic and quite sad. Quite sad and nice at the same time, but emotional. The King and Queen are commemorating the life and service of Queen Elizabeth II with private prayers and a moment of reflection at the Scottish Church. The royal couple made a short journey by car from the nearby Bunnamall Estate, the Crevery Kirk, where monarchs have worshipped since Queen Victoria. So this is that. That's what this is what it is. I wanted to tell you one uh, before I do that. I've just been doing the uh, went to the um, tour of Britain today. Um, the full video. The video I've just been do the, the the way me and my dad went just went there. Uh, it's gonna be on tomorrow or probably tomorrow or Sunday. We'll see. Probably tomorrow. So I hope this video will come out tomorrow after the highlights on TV and all kinds of stuff. And uh, make sure that I can vlog, blog, vlogs of me and my dad went to like a tour of Britain stage six finishing line in Harlow, which is Third Avenue, just right there, um, on the left. 
So this is really cool. I really enjoyed it. Make sure you go, make sure I'll watch, make sure you catch up to it tomorrow or something. But in the meantime, just want to carry on this one. A small group of um, Barrymore Estates is workers, members of the public, and the pupils of Cravey Primary School had gathered to close the church. The ref, Kenneth McKenzie of Kremlin Kirk, who said, I think that those of us are give, that did get to see the Queen in different situations, but politically up here, felt it today. We are reminded of the loss. And uh, wherever we go, it might be in our own homes or wherever. I'm glad that people will have the opportunity to reflect and give some thanks for the life of the Queen. And crowds are gathered outside Buckingham Palace in central London in Windsor Castle and left writing, written messages and flowers. The event wore deeply personal memories of the King who became so ring, so right, what I call it, when his mother died peacefully on the September the 8th last year. And Baron Morrill, if I correct it right, aged 96 after ringing, ringing, um, ringing for 70 years, ringing for 70 years. The King has been stayed at his back, back but. Burke Hall residence and Barrowmore Castle and Aberdeenshire during the summer. Wow. It feels like the, like a day and the whole family has been reflected or what's it been a huge mon monumental year of change for them and her family and the wider country, which is what they call it. This is Queen Elizabeth II was by photographed by Cecile Beaton Beaton on October 1968, which is like, wow, this is the picture from Royal Collection Trust. Uh, that makes, makes you see it here on my um, the, um, thumbnail, which is cool. A picture of the beautiful Queen, late Queen outside Worcester Castle. Prince Eugene wrote on Instagram, thank you of you today, miss you so, miss you so much, but remember what a life of service love and dedication to everyone and to your family who loved us so so very much um so i've got i lost my words i'm really lost my words well lost lost everyone's words i suppose unfortunately that the queen tragically passed um uh party of the way is what you call it well party of the way is less badly It was to the family of you and always in my heart. It will always be our heart as well because here Prince Eugene in his realm, that was pretty nice. Wow, this is like one year. Oh, sorry, that. That was a podcast from Sky News. It says, in the mark of first anniversary of her late imagination's death and my exception we recall with great affections a long life devoted service devoted to service and as you meant to us to mess many of us many of us actually many of us as well which is what it is i am deeply grateful too for the love and support that has been shown to my wife and myself during this during this year as we do our you the most to be of service to all to you all charles r which is now king charles which this is quite like and fantastic kind words a message of kind words for king charles the king and actually a king that would be amazing so this is a this is um one year anniversary to you guys, and this is what you call it. Which is from that also paid tribute you know to the sharp wit, right? As you call it. How do you call it sharp wit? I don't know. Flowers are also being left outside Buckingham Palace. Um, Labour leader Sir Keir Starmer has said that Queen Elizabeth II always enjoyed a special bond with her people, which is fantastic. Um, and last one is it was a relationship built from the understanding. That surface the great nations is a threat and unites sovereign 
and subjects, how you call it. And that's, I'm gonna end this one here. I'm gonna pass this one back to my dad's in a moment after this video. Um, I just wanna do, um, do this video to you guys. This is one year on. This is one year since Queen Elizabeth II passed and, and Charles becomes king. And this is like the, the biggest change of their lives, like to, since today. Biggest change of their lives, like, like today. And this is what it is. This is like last year, this is like, the last year of grief and sorrow and solidarity, that's, that was really incredible as well. So this is a video right here. Um, thanks for watching. Have a good weekend. Best you guys and you enjoy your weekend. And I hope you'll be enjoying watching the, um, me reacting to the, um, the cyclist from the Tour of France stage six today and tomorrow, we call it, do it tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Take care. Goodbye.